Kuro has sent urgent regards from the lookout landing for all of us on the monster control crew. As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked us with searching the area be beneath it for Hi Princess Zelda and her protector. Be aware that the gloom has spread even more in this area. Prepare yourself before you depart, Captain Haas. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. <gasps> My horse stayed! Horsey! Horsey! Unnamed horse! I can't believe you stayed through the shrine. There's no way that was a thing in Breath of the Wild, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> Like, that's actually kind of mind-blowing that it stayed. Sweet. Maybe this horse is, uh... Gonna be... Gonna be a mainstay after all. You know what I wish? Just hot take. I kind of wish you could increase the spurs on horses. That would be such a great feature. Why is it that you... You can't? What if you're really attached to a horse, right? You should be able to do that. Alright, uh... Let's see. If you missed last time, I don't know if I'll give recaps. I don't know if that's correct. But, um... Last time we did some stuff, I got this horse easily. I had no difficulty. Like, is that really you? When did you get from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watching you the whole time and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. <laughs> Captain Hawes doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should... Oh, he has a mustache. That's not the voice he would have. You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. <gasps> I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. I'm very serious. My name is Ol <laughs> Olif. <laughs> That's my name. I also have a pencil mustache, which autom automatically makes you makes me a certain strange hybrid of cool and creepy. Um. <laughs> how, how do... Are these gonna open? Do I have to dismount? Maybe I have to dismount. And use, uh, wrong button. I'm gonna get used to, I'm. Don't, 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 don't run away. Don't run away, don't run away. I know it's scary. I know it's scary, but you're okay. You're okay. Never fear, I am here. Who's there? Hey, this area is off the limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that, Link. <gasps> oh! Uh -huh. Hi! Uh, mm, uh, da, ba, bu, ba, da, ba, qua? Huh. Thanks, bud. Thanks for Seno. Huh. Huh. It's kind of cool that this is the first, one of the first, like, story areas you're supposed to go to. That's really neat. The final area of the game is one of the first. I, I like that touch. It, oh, I remember the puzzle that was here. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I, I want to see if I can register this this horse. I've, I've started to grow an attachment to him. Not enough to name him, mind you, but, you know, enough to want to name him. He's, he's kind of pretty. Uh, I really want to name this guy. Come on. Give me a stable somewhere. Huh. Really? <sighs> I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world, yeah. but... It is... Ooh, oh. Uh, stay here. Stay... Stay there. I saw a shield. I would like to take the shield, because all my shields suck. So I'm going to take this guy's shield and move on. Yep. <laughs> Man, fine. Yeah. I was I was gonna come up with a really cool name for this guy too. Yeah. I, oh, blah! I was holding hard left there, and he just decided. Man, this horse is so cool. He's actually just trying to do things the coolest way possible. I was thinking like gunmetal or like torpedo. Ah, man, I'm gonna miss this horse. Maybe. Maybe he can stick around. Oh? No, Link, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. Why did it suddenly get ominous? Oh. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse, up on the end of this road. Okay, that's, that's good. Eat the horses. <laughs> Eat the horses. Eat the apples, horse. <laughs> Eat the horses, apple. I haven't done commentary in a while. It's fine. 
All right, buddy. I'm not gonna... Yeah, I saw your sass, and I understand it. I did drive at you at 400 miles an hour, hit you with a car, and ride you. It's it's like the original story of Dragon Ball. It's it's really like a microcosm of Dragon Ball, to be honest. I'm basically Bulma. Riding... Goku. Are you him? <laughs> We're not going to focus on that sentence. Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. Hey, it's a new face. During that upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of the weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. There's also, or, there are also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. With glue and a little bit of love. I will get to the bottom of this mystery, for I am Detective whatever his name was, Perpin? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk to these guys first, but I'm gonna talk to these guys first. Hello, Mr. Man. What are uh, the three of us looking at? Whew. Standing on the edge and staring into this is intense. Seeing a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Whoa! Why would you do that? Just up and startle someone at the edge of the void. This chasm is nearly bottomless, just like all the others created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. Bye. Where is this this guard guy? Don't stop, 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 stop. Yeah, I know. Are you him? Oh, that's not him. Oh my word. Where is this guy? The first gatehouse, right? What? Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Where is he? <laughs> Fall off the gatehouse? So he's like on top. Oh, he's on top of it. Maybe. <laughs> He's up there? Oh, he is up there. Oh. No, I'm not looking for Zelda. I'm looking for Hawes so I can look uh. for Zelda. Because this ca this this huh. captain is like the most important person who's ever existed. Stop resisting me. Horse that is huh. unnamed and not important. Huh. And I'm not attached to him at all. Huh. Uh, let's... Stay. And? Stay. Stay here. Please, sir. Uh, in fact... Uh, not that one. Please, sir. Stay, horse. Perfect. I, I think- I think he'll stay. As long as he doesn't despawn, we're good. Why is this like this? That's so weird. I don't understand why that was like that. Okay, where is this Captain Hawes that's so important that the story cannot progress until we see him? This guy better be, like, super badass. Is, is it you? You look kind of cool. It's him! It's him. He's so cool that he had to turn around for his introduction. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive, and in one piece it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief! Actually, um, she's dead, and uh, I have a dead guy's arm. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you, and you're here to help with the search. Or, uh, I, I, I see, uh... Maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been left a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain! It's Princess Zelda! Oh. Hmm? Why does that sound like Tingle? Princess, or Princess Zelda, she's safe. She's just chilling? Well, uh, 
What? That was actually really creepy? Huh? Wait. What? Hmm? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off. Fly off? Right? Is that right? How strange. This... This is an emergency situation. Mm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Puro know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think we it makes sense for us to withdraw. But it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Puro about what happened here as soon as possible. And now we have to go back to her. That was kind of creepy. Um, my horse still down there? Oop, I'm okay. I didn't mean to do that. Well, we're fine. We're okay. I can't believe I'm alive. Uh, weapons, which I just walked away from earlier. That was stupid. Zonite powered. Man, I'm starting to. I'm starting to feel the burn on this. Um, man. Soldier spear. Yikes. I'll drop that, pick up the soldier spear. Uh, I should probably trade out rusty weapons for that. Travelers, soldiers. Aha, but that is good. But durability isn't. Let I'll drop it. I have I have a lot of uh, That stings. It stings. Also, I think this horse is gonna become like my best friend when I get back on him. Yeah, it's a torch. Oh, um, something I know from watching my roommates play. Sorry to snipe those from me, buddy. I didn't really actually mean to do that. Watch this. Watch this. This is something that I figured out, and... I really hate to be like this, because I I know you guys have played the... the honestly, the crap out of this game. You've played this game so much, and so whatever I'm showing you, you probably already know. But this is stuff I've found out, and I want to share it. Watch this. Look at that. Look at the range, or the range on that. That's crazy. So I could throw this weapon at somebody and just recall it back. No problem. Like, look at this. As long as I can see it and get my cursor on it, it'll come right back. And what I'm I'm most excited to do this with at the moment is, is boomerangs. I, I really want to try it with a boomerang. Also, um, I haven't tried this yet, so we're gonna, we're gonna fuse this with, um, something I don't really care about. Eh. You know, let's just make this even bigger. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know what that does. He only gave it, gave it one, so maybe that was actually a complete waste, but it's, it's there. We have it. All right, uh, I'm gonna take this horse back. And... Yeah, I guess we can keep going. We'll, we'll make it back to, uh... Horse, that was... Why? Why did you stop? Let's see how much this horse is our friend now. Uh, not very yet. He's not He's not autopiloting yet. He'll get there, though. I, I want this to be our first horse. We, we kind of got... Nah, I, I really need to stop at some of, like, the... Less than stellar terms here, but... Um... I don't really- I can't really think of a better way, way to put it. Uh, we- we really got, like, blue-balled by, uh, in- back in Breath of the Wild. Oh, I can't go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. We- we got <gasps> a horse that we named Applejack. We had this, like, magical- Ooh! Yeah, we- Fine. We had this, like, magical moment where we caught our first horse, and then we- We ended up passing on the horse, like- Applejack was our first, and we never registered him, and we ended up getting Hart. And while I like Hart, Hart was a good horse. He was a Bokoblin horse, so he was never really that good. And I, I want to avoid that if I can with this Let's Play. Uh... Nice. Oh, he's still alive. You have nowhere to run. Come on. Boom. Got him. Okay, stay here, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'm dropping apple. I, I would like to avoid that if I can with this Let's Play. Uh, because this, this is a horse we got it in a memorable fashion. Way, way more memorably, memorably than we got, um, than we got Applejack. And 
I don't want that to go down th the drain. I want to treasure these moments. Sh soldier spear, I actually don't really care about that. Uh, yeah, I don't care about it. Okay, I could explore this full area, but I'm really, I'm trying to get to the point, um, because we're, we're basically, if I can compare this to Breath of the Wild, we're, we're trying to get to the point where we were after we went to Kakariko Village, we talked to Impa, and we kind of had our directive. We had our, the, the game was like, okay, you've been free to do whatever you want this entire time, but now we give you our blessing to do that. And I, I would like to kind of stay our course for the moment until we reach that point. And I'm guessing that talking to Pura is that point. Or I guess it was talking to Pura last time, too. Yeah. So I, I, I wanted to follow the story's objective right now because I don't know how many things are locked. Uh, we not, might not be able to do story objectives. And I'm fine with going about things in a really wacky... Why don't you like doors? You're, you're kind of weird. Is it shut? Oh, so help me. Please let me through. But, um, yeah, I want to get to that point here, suffice to say. And I will, I will work extra hard to make sure that we keep this horse. There. Nice, nice canter. I highly doubt they've repaired, they've, uh, like, restored their stables. But we'll find out. Oh, it's Carson! Oh! Okay, what do you need, though? Oh! Can I give you anything? Ah. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh. Fine. I'll continually lead this horse along by the... By... Oops. By the neck hair. Because I don't have a saddle. I don't have a bridle. Come on, buddy. You are my horse. There, there's nothing you can do about that. Also, did I buy... Did I buy stuff and never equip it? I did. Let's fix that. Wait. Am I crazy? Did I not buy stuff? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? Oh, wait. Did I die? Oh, I didn't even notice. I died. And it reset that progress? No way. I did. Oh, well, I guess I'm a little bit less embarrassed by that now, but man, that's, I felt, I was, I was really confused about life for a moment there. Now let's dress the part. Look at us. Right back where we were. Because somehow Link was naked and his clothes didn't come with him. All right. Let's go talk to Pura. End off this episode by getting our prompt. Oh, and I, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how this episode, how these episodes are gonna go. Also, it's really cool that he's holding onto the main. Um, I, this is gonna be the last, uh, last episode of this recording batch. Currently, I'm recording this as soon as I think the sixth episode came out. Um, and so obviously up to episode 11, or 10, 10 is what I had recorded in the first session. So I'm, I'm still a little bit ahead. I just know it's going to take me a little bit to edit that 11th episode because of the fact that I lost the recording. Um, I'm only going to record a couple episodes at a time. Um, definitely not 10 like I did <laughs> in the first session. I've recorded three in this session and this is the last of the session. Um, I will, I'm going to look at your guys's, uh, look at your guys' feedback. Um, and in fact, there's one question I'd like to talk about here. Um, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, this, this Let's Play is very viewer-driven. Uh, Breath of the Wild had gotten to the point where wherever you guys said, uh, recommended I go, I went. And so you guys directed this LP. And that's part of what made Breath of the Wild really special to me. Uh, and so maybe, maybe I make this at the end of the episode and we don't talk to Pura. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I, I think this is really important to talk about now. So, that's going to be very similar to this episode, th in this LP. Now, one thing I'd like to do to set this LP apart from others is I want to go some really, really wacky directions. So, if you're here at the end of the episode, and I might put it in the description, recommend me some very wacky directions to go to. Um, I don't want to follow the bog standard path. 
For example, in Breath of the Wild, um, they very, very uh, heavy-handedly push push you towards uh, towards the east, towards Zora's domain. And I want to do the exact opposite of that. I have a, a, quite a bit of knowledge about the Breath of the Wild map, and so there's some places that I would like to visit myself. Um, and so we might skip around a little bit. We might delve very deep into an area and tackle this map in a strange way, because that makes it exciting to watch, right? Okay, uh, feedback I want to talk about, just because uh, I could have answered this in the comment, but I would like to give you guys a taste of how involved I am in the comments if you're new. Uh, my recording setup currently uses a, an Elgato HD60X, I believe. Um, Future Pal, if the, I'm wrong, please correct me on that. Um, I am editing using DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I'm not using the paid version, uh, so it's it's free to use. It's fantastic. Um, I'm still getting used to some of it, and that's why my editing hasn't been entirely up to snuff yet. Um, eventually, I'd like to get as good as I was back in the salad videos, but I have a, lo a lot of room to grow. Uh, and then, as for my microphone, I am uh, I'm using a Blue Yeti. I'm using the same thing I've used since... Oh, gracious. I, I don't... I think it was Earthbound? I think it was Earthbound was the first, was when I got this. And I'm using the same exact piece of equipment that I've used since then. It's still going strong. I love the Blue Yeti. I, I have to... Uh, I record it using Audacity. And I have some audio filters to... Uh, shorten the peaks and raise the floor a little bit um, so that you guys don't have to adjust the volume a lot and I don't blow out your eardrums. And that's it. That's it. My I record off of a tower that I built. It's kind of a monster, although I need to upgrade the graphics card. And that's it. That's that's all I got. Uh, cool. I think, I think I'm actually going to end it right there. I answered a question. Um, I will answer more questions, regardless of what they're about. Um, I, I really like having viewer engagement. It makes me really happy to see comments talking about things, comments uh, instructing me, helping me get better at this game, helping me get better at stuff you like, stuff you don't. So uh, keep making them. All right. I think I'm going to end it there. We're, we're going to talk to Peron next episode. That way we can get our direction and then head out with um, renewed vigor. I hope this horse sticks around. Oh, another thing. If uh, if there's like a stable, I might record before this episode releases. That might be awkward, but if there's a stable, let me know. Let me know where I can go to find it. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys next time for Tears of the Kingdom. Bye.